The highly anticipated Russian Su-57 stealth fighter jet has arrived at the Zhuhai Air Show 2024 in China, and all potential customers are keeping a close eye on the upcoming demonstration. The DRDO has finalized the configuration of the UTAM radar for integration with the Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets starting from the 51st aircraft, that will have 980 transmit receive modules. National Aerospace Laboratories has achieved a successful critical design review of the radome composite structure and associated parts for the UTAM Mark II radar of Tejas Mark II fighter jet. Financial aspects of the Super Shukhoi upgrade to the first batch of 84 Su-30 fighter jets are being worked out, and it is expected to be approved by the government by early 2025. Indian Air Force's Integrated Air Command and Control System is being equipped with artificial intelligence capability, to assist in tracking enemy aircraft and appropriate weapon selection to target them. The DRDO has handed over technology of lightweight high-strength flexible radar absorbing rubber sheet to multiple small private companies, that can reduce radar cross-section by more than 90%. Bangalore-based SSS Defense has developed a new indigenous SMG, that is currently undergoing rigorous internal trials. The Aeronautical Development Establishment is developing a next-generation digital flight control computer for India's AMCA fighter jet program, that will feature a core processor offering nearly 25 times the computing power of the digital flight control computer equipped on the Tejas Mark II. The next-generation digital flight control computer will have significant computational power to handle stealth characteristics, sensor fusion, electronic warfare systems, and its ability to operate in highly contested airspace. A highly respected defense analyst has said, that the Indian Air Force has made it clear that its preference under the MRFA tender is the Rafil fighter jet, and he argued that any attempt to conduct an open tender for the MRFA would be a costly waste of time. A global competition would involve a lengthy process of inviting bids, conducting evaluations, and assessing the technological and economic offers of various contenders. He also said, that given the investment already made into the India-specific enhancements for 36 Rafael F3R, moving forward with another platform would be inefficient and resource-intensive. A highly respected test pilot with the Indian Navy has said, that the Navy's potential procurement of the Rafil Marine fighter jets could jeopardize the indigenous TED-BF program. The Rafil Marine could establish a dominant role within the Navy, making it harder to justify an entirely new and indigenous fighter jet like the TED-BF. As the Navy adapts its training logistics and maintenance frameworks to accommodate the Rafil Marine, the sunk costs and operational adjustments might create pressure to continue investing in the Rafil Marine, further pushing Ted BF out of the spotlight. There are also reports that the Navy might place an order for 31 more Rafil Marine in the future. Today's top 3 comments.